this is unplanned pregnancy oh sorry unplanned video but you know we're gonna do it so it's just my space like i love being here you know so as usual i'm always telling you what has happened or what happens in that so make sure guys like you like share and subscribe to this youtube channel and if you're new here please madam mr ma'am you're missing a lot so make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel and like share tell a friend tell a friend and my goodness guys guys but you know like i'm like so happy and last views my god i'm just so happy i'm so happy <laughs> so my people um today i'm just going to talk about something that happened to me i'm always talking about myself you know anyway but it's part of life and maybe you learn one or two or three things kutokana kwa hii video or kutokana kwa hii story that i'm going to like give you talk to or whatever whatever the case whatever whatever man <laughs> so guys sometimes back that's 2016 I finished my college and um it was so by then it was like really I was not myself because I was going through a lot. By then I had given birth to my baby and he was one year old and I had to go back to school. I was in college and my self-esteem was like low, like down, 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 down. Everything was like, oh my god. You know, going back to uh class and you've been away for like one year and a half, maybe. Yes, it was like one year and a half, and going back to books and body fats and everything was like really i don't know what to say but it was like really my god oh my god oh my god oh my god it wasn't that good so yo listen so 2016 i went there nikoni semester kidogo so i went there i finished my course and it was time for me to go look for internship <laughs> this is the part this is the part this is part this is the part you know so um nilikuwa nafanya mass communication and journalism and you know kupata internship uh, i don't know if it's still hard because by then it was like really really hard and but at the end of the day i got an internship at wtb kenya thanks to them found fountain fountain media but well shafunga uh, and um, uh, when I went there, you know, like uh, I've said, being in school, I've given birth, I went to school, there's uh, so doubt, many doubts about me and the self-esteem is just down. The students and everything, I couldn't click with anyone. So I had that isolated life and me being introvert because, okay, Mrs. Ken can shout and you think like, oh my gosh, is that extrovert, extra, extra, I'm not, I'm just introvert in my own ways you know so after the main uh, internship i went there diana took me in she was one of the presenters so she took me in i had some few interviews to do then uh, i went so i didn't know the way to uh fountain media so it was westy manyani estate and stuff so I had to call her, you know, like, you know, we giving this story also reminds me of, reminds me of someone who said, oh my God, my previous, oh, my previous video, someone like a number of you said, oh my God, I love your accent, you know, your English is on point, right? what you talking about? Have you had them? Have you had them talk? Like mine is just, kitty akutafutilia. it's not yet there, like I'm just, I'm not yet. I'm not like you can't put me in that category. Okay, category. <laughs> but anywho, so uh this lady um whom I called and you know asking about the directions and everything, and she was like, Oh, where are you? And I'm like, Oh, Siji Nimepita Ananimbia, have you seen a building in Yantiqua Delta? Like delta delta and i'm like delta yeah delta and i'm like oh okay yeah 
<laughs> hope she's not watching this and if she is but um okay you good you good ma'am you good so i'm like oh yeah i can see that so i can be okay um then you'll see a barrier a barrier like barrier like barrier yani no barrier hali hakuna na kimuti then kikaluto gari sika itoka kana ndo paka itoka yani ogwo so mimi ni kama okay barrier by then it's funny by then i didn't know what barrier is so i asked her barrier barrier ni nini i can't remember. okay i can describe what barrier was so i kind of interview then i went home at the end of the tiny kapata internship and it was really good so with few days there you like there was a lot of people like these you know presenters and how they carry themselves there presenters journalists reporters cameramen and everybody editors and everyone so it was like oh my god am i going to fit in here so there was that me fitting in and uh working with these people and like what's gonna happen you know it's crazy so uh I started working there it was good some other interns so akakuja and all was really good until this time when a lot of people were talking a job like i didn't know the company was going to like we didn't know like we knew nothing you're just there for your internship and after that like you're gone ama you get a job like yo i don't know so there were so many rumors going on and after a few days a lot of them lost their job and by then we were just we few people that says only when she has a and our dog doing some few shows and uh, i started doing some shows with my co-host by then she was called susie susan and it was amazing let me say it was amazing so this this day that kilam to like almost kilam to am a foot a job so kona intern wa dogo and we are just there newsroom because that's where we used to cook and uh, this day uh, a, a a woman who used to wash out for the cleaning lady came and told me that Beatrice um the ceo said that you should uh you shouldn't like stay here anymore you should go to the uh, pa office and that should be your office from today hands for the number like like me me like you talking to me she said yeah like uh from today hands forth you'll be mwakazis like johnson mwakazis um PA like do you know what i mean like johnson mwakazis PA like me me bt like me injury PA wa mwakazi and you guys you know how hot that man is ah if you don't know ask me guy like huh what good so um the following day i came uh, in the morning and i was showed the office there yeah, i am in the office and i'm like oh my god how am i gonna deal with the mokazi i didn't even know like pa job like what it entails but yo <laughs> there i am so in the morning i got um mokazi came he came in the, my in my office like my office and he is like you guys you know the voice the royal voice and he's like good morning all is well and i'm like yeah all is well he went in his office then came back and told me that okay um give me 15 minutes then you come in my office i won't talk to you and i'm like okay sir <laughs> you know like okay sir okay I waited for like 15 minutes then uh, he called uh, the office landline and I went to his office with a notebook uh, no without a notebook then he said go get your notebook this I want to give you my weekly schedule how things will be 
and by the way i didn't know what her pa job is so she, he had to explain everything to me so i went to my office got a pen and a notebook then i came back and he was telling me okay on monday i'll go here and there and let me tell you guys because this guy's just like so cute so humble and everything about him the voice the body and everything like i don't know <laughs> so i'm just seated there he explained everything why he wanted me to be the pa he thought i was capable um i look responsible and uh all that so whatever he was okay he started okay on monday on tuesday for me by that time i'm like just looking at him like did you understand <laughs> yes yeah yeah uh did you get that bit yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. i didn't because nimezuba like oh my god nimezuba like i don't know what's going on here but yo i don't have to do it my god mm -mm -mm, my god so how did you know tuesday i did not like at that moment spelling your tuesday i see what i like i wrote down whatever and everything and uh, he was like okay relax uh, we're gonna do this thing together at nikon alone okay we're gonna do these things together so just relax and you do your job and i know you can do it yeah okay i went back to my office i was so tensing but i had i was so tensed and i had to like write down well things and make sure that all is well and he gave me his personal number because you know some meetings were starting late uh early mornings and i had to call him text him and tell him what's going on like you know the pa job and everything so i did that so it is this day my god let me tell, being an introvert is the worst <laughs> it's the worst hey so this day he came and um okay he, he was in the office and i was in my office and there was uh the head of tv his name i'm gonna i'm not gonna say his name he's okay he called me i can hear me hey beatrice they used to call me beatrice bt beatrice beatrice a beatrice go to my cousin's office and ask him for envelopes and i'm like okay so that's how I, so like at that time i had to breathe in and i'm like <sighs> Because I didn't know how to go face him and tell him, like, it was me, Missy Jui, like, being an introvert. It's me, Missy Ezi Elewa, like, Ninina and Eleanga. So I'm like, what will I say? Okay, excuse me, sir, Mr. Mr. So and so say that I get some envelopes from your office, or if you have some envelopes, you should, uh, give to me that I take it to his office and i practiced 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 and i was ready i was like now ready to go you know tear him so here i am went to his office knocked the door come in yes beatrice and i'm like oh okay. um mr so and so called me and he asked for and uh if you have some environments 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 in your office environment environment like and <laughs> environment environment instead of envelopes instead of envelope i'm an envelopes nearly say my environment nearly same environment i'm environment whatever the case but i said nearly same <laughs> cool. and he's like environment what do you mean beatrice uh, i'm sorry environment uh, sorry sir uh what i mean is envelopes 
ujawai shikwa like ujawai kwa embarrassed i was so embarrassed he gave me the envelopments <laughs> yes he gave me the environment there i went from that day i didn't want to go to his office like i didn't want to i didn't what a shame environment like for real i even oh my god oh my god i even serious environment jesus christ that wasn't fun so i got the environment and off i went <laughs> off i went so it was crazy bad it was crazy crazy bad but after that day he used to talk to me uh nicely relaxed so at the end of the day nikakuja nika relax we get used to each other and i didn't used to fear him or have this overwhelming um feeling so after some few months i got used to and uh, i didn't ask for environment any again like that was it so guys my god my god i if you are an introvert i don't know what you have ever said but please 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 share with me like just drop it let us know what you said let's laugh because mine it's crazy like you don't want to say that in front of your boss in front of your ceo like you don't want to do that anyway guys you know what you do here we like share and subscribe to this youtube and if you're new here kindly subscribe please let's share what you have and i know we're gonna grow each and every day yo Thank you so much for staying, watching, and loving being here. And I love you so much. Until next time, keep peace.